case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2004, Halifax Corporation found itself embroiled in a legal challenge still discussed in legal circles today. Halifax Corp v. Washovia Bank. At the crux of the case was the question of bank liability for embezzlement and whether Halifax could sue Wachovia for negligence under Virginia law. Critical, too, was the issue of whether Halifax could claim Wachovia was guilty of aiding and abetting the embezzlement. However, under Virginia law, this required Halifax to demonstrate that Wachovia not only knew about the embezzlement, but even willfully participated in the act. The case began when Mary Kay Adams siphoned off $15.4 million from Halifax Corporation by writing more than 300 checks from Halifax's account at Signet Bank and First Union National Bank. Discovering the embezzlement, Halifax Corporation initiated legal proceedings against both First Union and Wachovia. The trial court, however, sided with the banks, a decision which prompted an appeal by Halifax, although this, too, was dismissed. Persisting with their legal pursuit, Halifax Corp. then presented a motion for judgment against both Washovia and First Union. The court was unyielding, dismissing Halifax's claims against First Union on grounds of res judicata. Wachovia successfully obtained summary judgment, and the trial court's position in favor of the banks held firm. This decision was upheld upon appeal. The judges asserted that Halifax had not provided enough evidence to establish Wachovia had consciously enabled the fiduciary duty breach. This became a key element in the dismissal of Halifax's claims, further cementing the original ruling in favor of Wachovia. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.